Hey there, Hyeniacs. Welcome back to another episode of Dark Souls. Um, do not expect a lot of actual progress today as this next part is going to suck. Uh, first of all, a little pro tip. I got the spell cast light, which you get from the... Um, if you remember the woman in the lake that we got or saved by defeating that golden golem creature. Um, if you go back to that area near um there was a corpse where we picked up a bunch of items i think it was actually an armor set um her summon sign will be there if you go back there you summon her and you can talk to her and buy the cast light spell from her which is going to be very helpful uh for this next area i mean you can you know i do recommend having the lantern as well as kind of like a backup source but um Either way, cast light is going to be much better because you cast it and you can still use your shield, which you're going to definitely need. So, we go over here. Yeah, because you got these giant skeletons. Alright. I get up. On the upside, though, there is no... Um... There's no necromancers that um, replenish them. Let's see, I don't want to go over there. You can take this way down, but I'm going to take a different way that'll get us... It'll be a little bit longer, a little bit more convoluted, but it'll get us more items and secrets and stuff. Uh, let's see, you want to drop right there. And then right about here, there's actually going to be two more of these guys. I just want to try and aggro one at a time is uh how I want to do this so let's get them there we go the other one is right there alright cool and I know yesterday I said I was gonna make a shoot video on the uh, you know police shootings and stuff and I still plan on it, but, you know, new stuff started happening, you know. As we all know, there was a very horrific shootout last night with the police. Which, I'm going to add that into the video. I just wanted to wait until, you know, we had as much information as possible at this point. Before just shooting a video and, you know, being completely ignorant about it. So, that's just kind of my line of thinking right now. Hi there. Oh, shit. Okay. I forgot I can basically get them to... Okay, you dick. So. Uh, before I come down here, I think there's actually an item that I missed. But at least they're out of the way, so that's helpful. Yeah, it's right there. So I want to slide right there. Get the item. Cool. And then we can pretty much drop down, take a little bit of damage, but it's okay. It's alright. Now, before we go down there, because that's like one of the most painful spots in this air. Okay. And I do emphasize on just one of the most painful spots. There are plenty coming up here. I know there's a black knight around here somewhere. Okay, there's patches, but we're not going to talk to him yet. In fact, I don't even recommend talking to him. You you should just straight up kill him. Because all he's going to do is, if you remember... Oh, fuck these things. Okay. Anyways, if you remember when I played Demon Souls, or if you've ever played Demon Souls, um, when you encounter patches for the first time and he kicks you down... <laughs> Basically, same old patches doing the same old shit. Um, but he will kick you down to right down here. So, we're going to go down here, take care of these things. Okay. And, you know, this is kind of great about the cast light spells. It does last for a good while. 
And then we're going to run into some very familiar NPCs here. If you remember, um, God, I can't think of her name off the top of my head, but uh, one of the clerks. Um, when she went on her voyage with her guards, they're all down here, but they've gone hollow. Or at least two of the guards have. Here's one of them. So you just want to take care of them. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Maybe this would be a good time to switch to fire. There we go. What am I doing? What am I doing? Shit. I'm panicking is what I'm doing. Okay. I got them mostly down, so... Alright, I got one of them out of the way. The other one healed, but you know what? It's okay. I can still deal with it. And I need to cast another light, which is fine. Because the uh, bonfire is actually not that much further out. I actually believe it's a little bit closer back to Patches, but we're going to come over here and talk to her. Yes, I did. I'm certain that. Here. So you get some replenishment, which is nice. I'm certain that both of them Okay, she doesn't have much else to say right now, which is fine. Go over here, get some items. You get another skull lantern just in case you missed it earlier. Do 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 do. And then patches is right up there somewhere. See, let's get this, which will activate some more enemies down here. Okay. Ah. Yeah, their attacks can be a little, a little messy, but have no fear as long as you have Estus. should be pretty fine especially if you're more if you've balanced your leveling out a little bit better than I have like I'm at level 91 but uh, I I've done my best to balance it but I've at this point been putting it more into my stamina than anything else which I mean you can look at either way as either good or bad beneficial or pointless so what I'm gonna do next is go back to the little spot patches. Was it? There's a bonfire right there. But first, I'm gonna kill Patches because he's just gonna betray us anyway, and he's holding for humanity. So. Curses. What's wrong with you? Okay, so where is he? There he is. He's not nearly as difficult as he was in Demon Souls, so I'm not as timid about fighting him. Because in Demon Souls he's ridiculous. You get a few items and you, I think it's like four humanity. Good. Yes. You get a Crescent Axe. Which is really nice if you upgrade it correctly. Um, so now we're gonna go back to the bonfire use some of that humanity to kindle and all that good stuff and I'm already human so not worry about restoring just yet do 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 See, there should be a ladder right here. So, okay, I need to make room. Oh, granted, I only need to use one humanity right now, so 
we will just use that. And then we'll kindle the bonfire after we light it. Which, now that I've activated the bonfire for this area, I should be able to warp back and forth between it. Because, one thing I've noticed about the travel system in Dark Souls, at least the first one, is that you can't just travel between any bonfire. It's kind of like Demon Souls, where after you get through the first part or the first world of a level or whatever, you can yet then, you know, use the uh, travel system, basically. And, okay, so he's way up there, but... Okay, so what sucks about down here is that there's six of the giant skeletons. I believe three will rush over to you at first. Oh, shit, did my... Uh, Cast light go out? Yes, it did. So. And. I can't. Okay. Oh, shit. I'm not doing it right. God damn it. Okay. Alright, so I got some damage on those two, which is nice. There's the third one. So he jumps back. This is not working out in my favor at all. Um, you know, and I don't feel confident with trying to melee all of them just yet. Ah, uh, shit. Okay, did I at least get a drop on one of them? I think I did. Nope. Although, if I get them grouped together like that, it's fine. Because, you know, it is a little bit more helpful. Shit, get up, get up, get up. Now there should be two more after I kill this one, which I'd rather deal with two than six at the same time. Yeah, I can see one right there. And there's the other one trying to run behind him. Oh shit, okay, so I got, I got this one aggroed first, so, you know. Shit. Okay, there's the other one. Okay, okay. This is not working. Why am I still attacking when I'm trying to back up? I hate how quickly you can use lose focus because your area of sight is so shortened by the lack of light in here. No. Am I out of Estus? What the... Oh, okay. So we're going to attempt to get our souls back. I mean, absolutely no guarantee. This is why I really hate this part of the game. This is why I hate this level, but I figured... I'll just get it done and out of the way. Alright, so. Make sure... Okay, got my fire ready. That works, so I'm pretty much enough at this point. Oh, do I have to level or er, kindle the bonfire again just to restore all of my 15 Estus? Whatever, I'll do that in a minute. Not gonna worry about it too much right now. Because right now, what's important to me is getting the souls. Um, let's see, I don't want to just jump down to that lower ledge because that'll still leave me in their attack range. Let's see. Can't quite get him from this angle. What I want to do is back up just enough for them to kind of start walking away because it's not just your attack, attack range that's shortened by lack of light, it's theirs as well. Well, I wonder. Okay, I can see my souls. Okay, that did not work. Oh god, climb, 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 climb. Okay. I was trying to uh, run and jump to that other ledge there, but it failed horribly. Can't lock on to any of okay, I can lock on to one. Which since there's so many of them grouped together, it does put them out more. Oh 
shit. Okay. Okay. I'm not getting my souls. I'm going to die. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I can't even kindle the bonfire without restoring humanity, so I might as well do that. Oh, whoops, wrong thing. Let's see, no, I don't need that because there's nothing that does poison. And at least I'll have a spare humanity left over, so. What ifs? Let's see, I. Don't even want to use those. So I'm gonna rest, reverse hollowing, kindle the fire, and just kind of pretty much end up or end off on the episode from here. Um. Okay. What? Okay, I didn't do that. Right. My brain is not in the right place right now. I mean, I just woke up a little bit ago, started getting coffee in my system, but it hasn't quite hit my brain yet. <laughs> So, okay. I restored, now to kindle. Yes. That is what I need in my life. And with that, guys, I'm gonna end off here. And I will see you guys next time. Alright, guys, just as a quick little bonus, you know, might do a little bit more here, but I was able to finally get my revenge. I mean, it took a few tries, and I definitely didn't get all those souls back. But, <laughs> the feeling of, I fucking did it, I got my revenge, is definitely worth it right now. Um, basically what I did, was I had switched to my bow and arrow, because you know, when you first come up here, you'll have the first two or three coming at you. Um, I aggroed, you know, the ones further back with the bow and arrow, and, you know, got them all to come over here and just, you know, tried my best to time my fire to them. So that way it kinda, you know, took them all down at once. Well, it didn't take them all down, but it took uh, three of them down at the same time, which is good enough to me. So, you know, it got the first three killed and got the other three down to a decent amount of health to where I could just drop down you know, do a quick drop attack and finish them off. So that's pretty much how I did it. And I just figured I'd let you guys know that, so that way it's kind of a little tip to help you out. Um, you know, I should have pressed the record button on my last attempt there, but I figured, you know, I died so many times the first time around that I'd rather wait till I actually had it down and just kind of explained it rather than just, you know, keep dying, rinse and repeat, whatever. So either way, guys, I'm going to officially end it off now. I love you, and I'll see you later.